Welcome back. Now what we need to do is that we need to test making an order. So let me, for example, add this to cart. For example, suppose that they want to buy this beef burger. I'm going to click on this add to cart. And as you can see now, I have these uh, two meals in the cart. Let me click on checkout. If I click on check checkout, I will, I will be taken to the checkout uh, page. And now um, I'm being asked to fill out this form. So let me fill out this form. And let me let me here fill out this form and let me type here a city and address and let me click on checkout so if I click on checkout as you can see it's gonna take me to the payment page and this is the payment page it's empty and uh, this is why it's not this it's not displaying anything because the payment page is empty and by the way in the payment page we need to add here we need to close the dev here so here we need to close the dev don't forget to close here the dev the dev this dev again this dev belongs to a a dev that uh, exists in the header so but we have to close it here we cannot close it in the header because other files specifically the index is using uh, is, is closing it later so we have we have to add it here uh, let me now refresh one more time the payment page and as you can see this is the payment page it's empty it's displaying here payment it's only displaying here payment because we don't have uh, we did not work on it yet but we will work on it later but let's check what happened in the database so if you head on over to the database and if you refresh the orders table you should find a new order don't worry about these orders I have uh, made these orders uh, before but now the latest order was this and this is correct because the latest latest order uh, the cost of the latest latest order was 48.98 and this is my name my email here it says not paid because I did not pay obviously this is why it's saying here not paid and it's also displaying the city the um, the address everything is being displayed also, if you open up the order items, you should find more details about that order. So let me open the order um, items and let me here, let me display all uh, rows. So here, as you can see here, we have the latest, the latest order, which order number 49, that's correct, order number 49. The order was the meals were cheeseburger and beef burger, and that's correct. The, the total was 24 plus 23 and here I have two meals so here it, it's displaying the order and I want you to notice that the order ID uh, is the same because these two meals belong to the same order so if, if user buys more than one item both items will have the same order because both item both items belong to the same uh, order therefore they have they have to have the same order ID but now as you can see the or the the orders uh, the orders table will display the orders and the order items will display details about every single order we have